Okay, welcome to the first ever DevOps 2015 live stream feature roundup. I'm joined by Manny Sarkar and Simon Hello. Maple. Hello. Hi. And you might know Simon from the VJUG and also from Zero Turnaround slash Rebel Labs. And Manny is a new recruit for Codurance and a trainee software craftsman. Have I got Apprentice. that right? Apprentice. 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 Yes. That's right. That's, that's, like the, that's like the posh type of coding where you just look down on on normal coders, right? Yeah, you, well, I, I don't know if it's called that, but it's it's you are one of them initially, and then you learn how to become the posh, in your words. It's not the it's not the right it's not the exact word. And it's funny that you're talking about being an apprentice because I'm going to make a tenuous leap to Star Wars, which leads me to this morning's keynote, where we were enjoyed by um, Professor Lawrence Krauss. Yep. who led us to uh, the history of the universe, 13.8 billion years or so. Um, in the contrast to Mark Reinhold, who led us through 20 years of Java. Yeah. Um, my taking from this morning was Java 9 looks great. Lots of interesting points there. And um, it doesn't mean anything because in the vast infinite base of space and time, um, all this is meaningless. It's all insignificant. I think in everything, his words. everything's insignificant. The, the conference, this interview, we might as well just go home, I guess. Okay. But what is interesting... Or, or do know or is something. That is that how you feel, Simon? Well, not really, but... Well, but might, as well, might as well make use of the rest yeah. of the three wonderful days. Yeah. Dr. Krauss was able to have these depressing findings as a result of technology. Um, Developers like yourself, you know, these things, you don't just have a Hadron Collider built of Lego. That's right. I mean, if you see the amount of work that's been put in that, and if he's comparing that to the 20 years of work in Java, then cool. he has he has some standing there. I don't know. What do you think about that, Simon? Well, I mean, it, it, I think it just puts everything in perspective, really, about what we're doing. Exactly. Um, and, uh, and some of the things which may, in, in our roles and in the Java language, may seem of, of critical importance. You know, there are, I guess, I guess, more important things that we could be we could be working on. I mean, so maybe we should just, like, like I say, go to Node. It's the future. Oh, okay, Node.js. Yeah. So you're the JavaScript Node. guy here. Well, well Red Hat, right? We're investing yeah. in Node.js Foundation. Yeah. Very yeah. interesting. Yeah. So yeah. can Java one last week, one of the big announcements, that new JavaScript framework that they're working on. I think it's Jet. Yeah. And okay. Did Oracle. they announce that already? Yeah, okay. they did. Well, they announced it, but it's not been really hugely hyped. Because I think we knew about that uh, a few months ago uh, when we all met. I don't know if uh, we are allowed to talk about that here, but you <laughs> had dark rumblings in the first. Yes, the so we didn't know there was going to be a JavaScript Node.js like tool in the in the making. But now we can put the jigsaw pieces together to. Uh, to put are you that excited to start playing on that? Uh, well, I'm not a huge JavaScript fan, although I like JavaScript. It I'm is. not quite sure I'm now going to spend my time to learn this new JavaScript. Well, it's interesting. In. It's really interesting that all the other big players are also uh, investing in it. I mean, you have Oracle, you have IBM, you know, with with Bluemix, for example, all, all pushing and adding their support. It's 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 clearly it's clearly being seen as something substantial that, that you know could potentially rival Java in the future. So I guess it's the next. Uh, people keep talking about it, even on the like Java yeah. Champions list as well, to put placing Node as the potential rival for for Java going forward. I mean, I think they. The thing about Node is that you don't have to have either or, do you? There's specific uses for them, the different places in the ecosystem, and it's kind of it's great that I guess it's a logical leap for Java developers to start picking yeah. up to add to their arsenal of languages. And having this kind of cohesion in the community behind it is going to be great for people. Like people coming to conferences like DevOps, start talking about more about things like Node. Mm. You can kind of it's easier to learn things in one community space than having to go from place to place. But, but having said that, what's the coverage of JavaScript at DevOps 2015? Anybody knows? Is are there a lot of talks on JavaScript or no JS? Uh, no, I don't think. That, I don't think there's. I think many. I heard something. There was one talk on Gulp JS, and then there's probably what, yet another one on another on another Java JavaScript related topic. But there hasn't been a lot of that. So. That's true. And in terms of talks at De DevOps 2015, what are you looking forward to? What would be your top ticks? I know you might be trained to the booth, but if you could go to anything, what would you like to learn about? Well, I actually have the. Uh, oh, you, ha you have you have your homework. Oh, you have that? your homework list. Yeah, I prepared for this. Oh, very I? We're cool. all rookies here, you see. So, I mean, you know, there's there's a bunch of sessions. Um, just a couple of, a couple of the sessions which I think are actually really really relevant and really really useful, rather than going to the big one hour sessions. I, I always think the like the ignite sessions and the quickies are really really valuable because at a one hour ignite session, you will see 
like you know whatever it is I don't want to do my maths in front of everyone but I'll say 12 five minute sessions yeah um, on totally different topics sometimes technical sometimes not technical and it, it, it's not like you know you can sit there and you'll think oh this is a rubbish session or, or anything and, and waste an hour you will see loads of different sessions and it keeps you thinking about totally different things but I think I think I'll uh, second Simon on that because uh, the research has shown that our, our focus is only about 25 minutes and so you have this technique called the Pomodoro technique where you right. time yourself yeah. to 25 and and if you basically time box yourself to even shorter blocks of, t of time frame in which you do a certain activity it actually seeps into you much better so those those 5 or 15 or 20 minute talks whatever they may be called are probably more effective than sitting in like three hours like I was doing yesterday uh, and it's not effective both for the person who's delivering it mm. and to the person who's attending it because even though we had a break we didn't observe as much if we had a break every 25 minutes for example okay. or we had short talks like this and, and I agree because for me presentations isn't just about trying to purvey or provide information to the to the people who are attending it's equally about or in fact for me it's more about getting people getting the audience excited about about understanding the concept you're trying to that you're trying to put forward and you can't you can never educate someone in one hour on a, on a yeah. complex topic so if you can if you can give someone that information that they can then go away yeah. and learn more about it themselves for me that's how a conference session is successful absolutely so I mean even for me personally I don't know about you but I don't remember a whole lot of stuff that's been spoken during the keynote or even at the two sessions I attend in the last couple of days and uh, I would think that if those sessions were broken down into smaller pieces of 15 minute sessions for example mm. uh, then I think I would have got a lot more out of it Wait. Are then you suggesting you want conference microservices? Yeah. Uh, conference I'm, I'm microservices. I'm not going to come up with those buzzwords and names. I think I'll leave that to two of you to come up with. But well, I think one of the biggest problems is getting speakers to that kind of conference. Because yeah. if you try, if you try and say to someone, "We want you here for a 15-minute talk," yeah, will you pay the one thousand, two thousand oh. dollars to get here hotel for 15 minutes? It's going to be harder for, for to justify that kind of. You cost. have you have a point there, but what they could still do is uh, they could break down their p uh, presentations into 15-minute blocks. Very each 15 minute block is focused on one thing and then they transition into the next thing maybe That's after true. a five minutes break or a three minutes break mm -hmm. uh, and it's good for them and it's good for this, the ones who are listening but again it's something not being tried out what about for people like me who only have like five minutes of useful information and then I just kind of yeah, pad the rest of the 15 minutes you have minutes. another room where you have that with okay. no breaks oh perfect yeah. perfect or maybe um, breaks but to answer your question I think the, 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 the sessions that, that stand out for me Sam Newman's microservices talk. I think Sam's mm -hmm. always a great speaker. Equally, unfortunately, it's clashing, but Char Charlie Nutter. Right, so um, we'll be putting Sam Newman's on our loop, so you can watch that one awesome, later. Awesome, yeah. yeah. Um, I, of I would still suggest, I know you. Some, we had a conversation earlier. I, would, I still like Patrick, and I would suggest his Docker talk, because it's not about Docker. He's talking about all kinds of tools in the container ecosystem. And he's done an amazing work in, in doing that presentation in, what was it, 30 uh, an hour or less? And, and he did a short demo as well. It didn't work, but he made it work. Mm -hmm. Patrick's and a great speaker yeah, as well. Yeah, he is. And he covered the whole grounds. And now you can go home and, and you know, pick up the things you want to want to learn. But I mean, the other thing as well, whether it's Java 1, whether it's DevOps, the range of speakers, I mean, there's, there is, there is an orgy of technical content and technical speakers on show for you. It's like it's so hard to kind of pick one. You know, yeah. we looked at all those three sessions were actually clashing in the same in the uh, same yes. time tell slot. Me, so tell me about it. My tough. app is so saying great that, that all the sessions are online happening. and you can yeah. go watch it in the privacy yeah. of your bedroom, enjoy it. And at the keynote, of course, it was mentioned that all sessions, all, was it all sessions in, yes. in DevOps yeah. will now be available on YouTube, literally a couple of hours after they're they're delivered at, at DevOps, which is like incredible. Is that only only the university sessions or the ones that are going to be recorded today? All all the I think that's today's as well. And okay. the whole Everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the channel called? The whole Smogas board. And that will be streamed on YouTube, but we'll also be linking to that on our box. So okay. is all this will be on one handy I'll, page. I'll rely on your link uh, Just as soon as, uh, Twitter. as it comes Twitter. out. Google. Google. Uh, Google. Yeah, Google's better than... Yeah. Uh, get, us, get some hits. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. yeah. I shouldn't say Google at a job conference, really, should we? <laughs> or should we? I but don't you know. know, YouTube is also owned by Google, so if you just That's go to YouTube, yeah. or Vi well, Vimeo as well. But yeah. well, Vimeo videos are going to take a little longer, as uh, Stefan mentioned, is that yes, right? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, well, thank you very much for joining us today, and thanks for those picks. If people are indecided, maybe swathe some sessions there. Mm -hmm. Oh, th there is, of course, one big session that everyone should attend. Oh, you're oh. going to do your shameless plug again, oh. aren't you? This isn't a shameless plug. Even if I oh. wasn't on this session, I'd still say no it's an amazing session. No advertising on Vox. No advertising on Vox. Which one is that? It's uh, the Java Council. 
Oh, yes. right. The Java Council. Valid. I was going to say zero turnaround. Oh, so you made me say it. Yeah. Uh, so the, Java, the Java Council is, um, is, a, is a community podcast. Yes. Um, and it was actually, the community podcast actually was created because the Java Posse um, okay, uh, you guys have finished, taken finished over last from year. Uh, yeah. They left. I don't think we can take over. I think we're but an old turn. Uh, we're an old turn. Yeah. But we're yeah, after Java after Posse. a few months of the Java Posse finishing, we thought it was extremely sad, and we thought let's let's create a new a new podcast um, in a similar vision, but we wanted our own our own style. We don't want to you know kind of duplicate it. Absolutely. Um, but Stefan was very very kind enough to uh, to give us a slot here on the on the first day. Um, so at, f- at 5.50, we'll, uh, we'll be there. We've got Mark Reinhold for an interview. We've got, mm. a f- a, 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 we've got an Ignite talk, a blind Ignite talk, which is where you don't see the slides, but Ooh. that's going to be tough. Yeah. Um, we have a couple of panels. We have uh, a bit of fun with uh, Just a Java Minute, which is a little game show. That is we're that be all part of the Java Council session? That is all, all part of the Java all Council session. All in one. Session. Yeah. So they are actually running another conference within that it's conference. A, it's a micro, micro conference. Micro yes. conference. Yeah. A yeah. conference. That's why yeah, he's been conference. pushing it uh, towards those five and 15 minute uh, uh, presentations. Yeah. Genius. I see that. Mad genius. So can I do a shameless plug as well since he's done the Java Council shameless plug. <laughs> so tomorrow evening just before the movie there's going to be a boff the Adopt Open JDK boff. Uh, please come there. We are planning Great. to we're not promising to get beer and eatables for whoever comes there so I'll please there. show up there. You'll be there. Important. Hey. Oh yeah you could do a coverage for us. Thank you very much Lucy. Hey thank you very much for joining cool. us. Thank you. Thanks Lucy. Yes.